Good day, future RMDs. In this video, I'm going to discuss Babesia species. Our learning objectives are as follows. Number one is to recall the morphology, life cycle, pathogenesis, epidemiology of sporozoans, and distinguish the diagnostic features of Babesia species. To start with, let us remember that Babesia species is an apicomplexan parasite, no? and there is sporozoa, Okay, that are affecting animals. It can be a wild animals or a domestic animals. Actually, Babesia species was first isolated from cattle no, in Texas. That's why Babesia species is referred no, to be the Texas cattle fever or the red water fever. There are only two Babesia species which are Babesia microti, formerly known as the Tilleria microti, magandang pangalan ng anak, and Babesia divergence. So if you have a twin children, no, pangalam sa kanya si Babesia microti, and the other one is si Babesia divergence. So this species of Babesia is the most commonly known, which can cause pathologic infections to human. Babesia, the same thing with our malaria or malarial species, no, is a vector-borne parasite. Okay? And the only difference between plasmodium and Babesia is their vector. Number one, the vector of plasmodium is mosquitoes, Anopheles mosquito. The vector of Babesia is tick. Okay? that enters human or animal RBC via a blood bean. Okay? There is also a ring form in the RBC of a person with babesiosis okay, or an infection with babesia. However, no, there is an absence of malarial pigment, the Schaffner's, the Zeeman's, and the Maurer's that. But, no, but there is also what we call the sporozoites, which is considered as the infectious stage or the infective stage of malarial parasites. The same thing goes with our Babesia, babesia species. The merozoites of Babesia no, uh, develops within the RBC from the troposoite to form a multi-process formation which produces sporozoites which are taken up by the tick vector. Okay. Like what I've said, no, the vector of Babesia is tick, particularly isodes. Yan. Ganun po yung tick vector. Which are capable of transmitting the Babesia parasite. Okay. So once the sporozoites is being ingest or is being injected by this tick, I saw this. Okay, it is capable to invade RBCs. Okay, in animal host, merozoites becomes gametocytes. The tick bites infect animal host and obtain gametocytes in their process. Almost similar in the life cycle of plasmodium. Again, the only difference is the vector. Okay? A human is considered an accidental host because Babesia is really an infection of cattle. Cow. The same thing with malarial species. The specimen of choice includes a peripheral blood smear. Again, the tick smear is for screening and the thin smear is for differentiating Babesia species. Okay, is it a divergence or microti? Unlike with plasmodium, blood collection is not at the time of blood collection is not critical. So, hindi kagaya kay malaria. During or after paroxysms is the recommended time of collection. Uh, Self-limiting infection, no? late summer to early fall is the times wherein the species is 
uh, dominant or mataas yung cases. Symptoms also you know, is synonymous with malaria, mal malaria. Fever, chills, sweating, fatigue, uh, joint and muscle pain, hepatosplenomegaly, and mild to severe hemolytic anemias or anemia. Now, if the infection worsen, ano yung pwedeng mangyari? No? Pwede magkamaroon ng splenectomy and, immuno, and maging immunocompromised ang patient. Uh, remember also that Babesia can also have a co-infection or multiple infection with other tick-borne diseases such as Lyme disease, a bacterial infection, no? or human uh, granulocytic ehrlichiosis. No? This is a bacterial infection caused by ticks. Okay. Yan. So again, the trophozoites of Babesia microti and Babesia divergence resembles the ring form of Plasmodium species. However, there is the absence of the malarial pigment, the Shafter's dot, the Maurer's dot, the Zeeman's dot, and the James dot. Now, the merozoites is a four trophozoite mature to form a Maltese process. That's usually the stage in the tick vector. No? And the asexual phase occurs naman in animals and in other animals and in humans. Okay, so again, the sporozoids, paulit-ulit lang tayo, no? Is transmitted via the tick of the bite. <laughs> the tick of the bite. The bite of the tick. Which is considered as the sporozoid. So ito, gusto ko matandaan nyo. One of the, one of the other difference of plasmodium and babesia Plasmodium is capable of undergoing exoeritrocytic stages. Babesia species did not undergo exoeritrocytic stage. Okay? So the, laboratories, the laboratory diagnosis is the peripheral smear, the tick and thin, and serologic testing. Now for epidemiology, uh, Babesia microti is southeast New England, Midwest, Mexico. No, and the most common tick vector is the I saw this, uh, the mini. Okay, and the primary reservoir, no, very French reservoir, the the primary reservoir of the, the of my protein is white-footed mouse. For divergence, European countries and has been found in Nantucket areas. Okay. And the tick vector of divergence is the Isodes rinicus. Ah, rinicus. I'm sorry. Risicu, ricinus. Ano ba yan? Ricinus. Okay? And the reservoir host is cattle and rabbits. Now, like plasmodium, Babesia microti and Babesia divergence can also be uh, transmitted via blood transfusions. Bakit? Unlike malaria, si malaria kasi one of the bloodborne pathogens being tested in the laboratory. Blood units from donors are screened for malarial parasites. Kasi sa RBC yun eh, bloodborne pathogen nga. They have to screen the blood samples or the blood units. Babesia microti, Babesia divergence, or Babesiosis is not routinely done, screened in the laboratory. Most especially here in the Philippines. Hello, COVID-19 nga eh. Diba? Kaya possible na matransfuse ang blood from a person infected with Babesia. Okay? Yun nga lang. Uh, the infection with Babesia is self-limited okay, with no periodicity unlike malaria. Okay. Flu-like symptoms with hepatosplenomegaly and mild to severe hemolytic anemia. They tend to be worsened for splenectomized and immunocompromised patient individuals. Bakit ako ulit-ulit ako ng lecture na ito? Sige, dalian na lang natin. And 
Pabasia divergence tends to be more severe and fatal if untreated, unlike microtic. So treatment is almost uh, similar to malaria. However, it can be treated through the combination of drugs such as clindamycin and quinine or atovacunum and azithromycin. Now these are all bacterial agents, antibacterial agents. Prevention and control definitely is elimination, eradication, fumigation of tick infested areas, and removal of the ticks. Okay? So that's it. That is Babesia. Again, the major difference of Babesia and Plasmodium is their vector. The vector of Plasmodium is Anaphilis. The vector of Babesia is Isodes. Tick. They both have the same infective agent, infective stage, sporozoites. Man is considered as an accidental host of Babesia microti, Babesia divergence. Babesia divergence is much more serious than Babesia microti. And remember, no, they have the same test, peripheral blood smear, the thick and thin blood smear. And lastly, plasmodium species is capable of undergoing correct exeritrocytic stage while Babesia microti and Babesia divergence is not capable of doing that. Thank you and God bless you all.